Hello and welcome to another Hextom video tutorial. Today we're going to be covering the new currency features in our app Translate My Store. Translate My Store has included currency conversion features for a long time, but previously they've always been managed through Shopify markets. So we can see here on my store, I've got many different currencies and regions managed in Shopify markets. So I've got a Eurozone market, United States, and Mexico, each with their own regions, each with their own currency and language settings. But there are some limitations to the way that this works. Namely, if your store is not using Shopify payments, you can't use Shopify markets to convert your currencies. So we've added a new feature to our app to allow you to do currency conversion without using Shopify markets or Shopify payments. Let's show you how this works. So we're going to add a region slash currency. Regions and currencies that are already on your store will not be available for selection. So for example, Austria here is already on my store as part of my Shopify markets in the Eurozone, so I can't add them. And I've already added Australia with this new feature. If you have a region or currency that's been added to your store through Shopify markets that you want to add with this feature instead, you'll need to remove it from your Shopify markets first. So let's add Brazil to the store. So now that we've added it, we'll be able to see it here in the unpublished regions slash currencies section. When you add and publish new currencies, with this feature or with Shopify markets, our app will automatically detect these changes and these and these new regions and currencies are going to be available right away in our app's language and currency selector. So if I publish it and I go to view my online store, we'll see at the bottom here, this option is already available. and the prices have been changed. We allow you to edit several of the currency settings. So at the top we have this preview of how it's going to look. This is exactly how the format will appear on your store. So on this edit page we can change the exchange rate. I'm going to leave it on auto. This automatic exchange rate is the one provided to us by Shopify. And these exchange rate settings relate to US dollars. So if you want to set a manual exchange rate, please remember that you are setting how much of this currency is equal in value to one United States dollar. I'm going to change to round to the nearest, 99 cents. You can also round up or down or not round at all or change the value that you round to. You can move the currency symbol before or after. I'm going to leave it before. And you can change the currency format here. So you could say, this is the sort of default one, not show the decimal amount, use a comma instead of a period. Our app tries to detect the correct one based on your language and currency settings. But if it doesn't get the one you want, you can change it right here. There is a limitation with this feature that you need to be aware of. Because we're not working with Shopify markets, these currency conversions are only going to be visible on your store and not on the checkout. Because of this, we include an optional note that you can show on the cart page. This will mean that your customers are more informed about what is happening and won't be surprised when they see that the currency has changed back to your store's default currency. We can see the note right here. This note can be edited as well. So you can make a customization to it. Save it if you want. And we also let you translate it into all the various languages on your store right here as well. So I want to translate it into Danish. I could type a manual translation in or get the AI to do it by clicking this button, and if I like it, I can hit save. There we 
we go, we can see that it's translated here on my cart page on my store as well. Now this note is only shown when a currency managed through our app is selected. So if I switch to Austria, which is using euros, which is managed through Shopify markets, you'll see it's not there anymore. So it only appears when it needs to be there. So that's everything for today. As always, if you have any questions, you can reach us at help at hextom.com.